everyone! So most of you that are viewing this video right now have hopefully seen my previous video on my webpage. Um, it's about environmental marine biology and conservation. Now I know that sounds like a mouthful, but that's exactly what the other video does. Um, it explains what it all means. Because it really doesn't mean as much as you would think it was. It's very simple to understand. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you go to my webpage or you search it up on YouTube and find it and watch it. Because it is very informational. This video, however, I've made to inform you about why this topic of environmental marine biology is so important. You see, environmental marine biology is basically the study of all of the marine environments, such as oceans and rivers, and etc. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to explain to you why it was important. So, it's so important because so many animals out there are struggling with all of the oil and the pollution that humans have put into the water and forced upon them and they shouldn't have to deal with that because I know that if I was a seal or a fish or something and I got stuck in a net or a fishing net or if I got covered in all of the oil or pollution from the water I wouldn't be very happy and most of the animals end up dying um, and unfortunately there is so much undiscovered life out there that we really want to learn about and know more about and so I highly recommend that you try to discover this topic further on and I'll post some more videos and connect my blog and everything to this video but I really think that this topic isn't discussed enough however environmental marine biology um, I know that it does sound like a lot but it's not as much as you would think I'll give you a short explanation of what it is once again so it is the study of all of the water environments but it's also a study about all of the organisms, even the ones that you can't see, which are called microorganisms. Um, I don't really ever explain microorganisms, however they are microscopic organisms, and if you don't know what microscopic means, it means that you can't see them with the naked eye, you have to have a magnifying glass or preferably a microscope, um, and then you can see them, but they're really cool, from bacteria to all these other creatures like protistas and everything like that. It's a really interesting topic and so if you really like the sun and the water and all of the marine life that's out there from fishes to dolphins to seahorses even seals and crabs count even octopus um, but you know I really highly ask that you get involved with this because like I said so many of these animals are losing their lives in their homes and half the time it's because of us so if you live somewhere near a coastline like California or anywhere else just go out and help pick up trash um, if you see any fish or anything that are on the beach try to carefully pick them up and put them back in the water because they don't deserve to die that way I mean you wouldn't if you were put in the water all day and then you drowned it wouldn't be very fun so they really need to survive guys and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video um there will be more videos up on my wall and I hope that you view them too because they are very informational thanks for your time